Neo San Francisco. How's that? Hey, the mic wasn't plugged in. The microphone wasn't plugged in. I was talking to myself. Um, well, now that that's plugged in, and now that I'm skipping by the intro cutscene, yes, all right, uh, welcome. Welcome as always to the Monday night sci-fi AI guy stream uh, in which I play sci-fi games with AI elements and try to talk about them from an academic perspective as best I can being a um, postgrad student. Whew. It's, a, it's an Easter day, it's one of them. It's one of the one of the several. It's like, what is it, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, Easter Monday? I feel like that's the configuration. I don't pay terribly close attention. I would have as a child insofar as I got eggs, but I... Do you get eggs on the Sunday? Is that it? It's been so long. It doesn't matter at all to me anymore. Um, and even then, it just mattered that I hoarded chocolate as a as a child who didn't often get treats of that sort, um, needless treats. Uh, Mum was always foisting fruit on us like a responsible parent. Um, so I didn't eat a lot of chocolate initially. Crafty is confirming Sunday eggs, but saying depends on the family. I can see that. I mean, Christmas um, has different cultural configurations as well when people get gifts. It's wild. Um, yeah, I have a, a weird flashback memory of being young, receiving my hoard of chocolate, and then taking said hoard uh, into my room, to my cupboard, where I had a secret panel in the cupboard. I don't know why it had that, but I hid stuff in there. I mean, I was a kid, I didn't really have much to hide, so it was stuff that I thought was important, but it was just kid stuff, right? And I, I took my Easter hoard into my room and I opened my secret cupboard, and I was like, yeah, the eggs will go in here now. And lo and behold, within the secret panel were last year's eggs. And they had gone white, as chocolate does when it goes weird. Um, yeah, because I had hidden away my chocolate and saved it for later and thus never eaten it. Um, I'm pretty sure I ate some of the white chocolate, or the chocolate that had turned white. I'm pretty sure I, I nommed into some of that. Because, you know, it seemed edible. I clearly didn't die. And um, Neo all of my Francisco, problems are genetics, so. AD. or a result of further injury. So, you know, nothing bad happened at the time. So I'll take it. Mm. We'll wait a minute more for the usual folk to stroll in. What happened last week? What happened last week? So we left the hospital, we talked to Deccan, Deckard, Decker. Somebody whose name started with D-E-C or D-E-K because that's how I remember I named the save file appropriately. Um, and he was the assistant, military assistant slash bodyguard um, to the wheelchair dude. Um, wheelchair dude being ex-CEO. Um, of a big company, or maybe still a CEO of the company, but um, yeah. Who sort of straddled the line between uh, rebellion and um, tech supremacy. Um, and I'm, I mean, yeah, he sort of sits in the middle and you've got Parallax at the supremacy end, being, um, you know, all powerful tech giant. Um, and then you've got, you know, this dude in the middle, whose name I can't remember. And then on the very other side, um, you've got the Human Revolution, who aren't against, um, well, they're against some, I think they're against Parallax to a degree. They seem to be against tech in general, but their beef is more, um, you know, camping outside of the bioengineering clinic and giving people the business um, in a, you know, in a really shitty way. 
Yeah, and we we finally made friends with the um, girl who's buying Janita as a cat. I think her name is Jess. I feel like that's true. Um, I remember I had to uh, make friends with someone and listen to their interesting life story so that I could break into the VIP section. I, just, I used someone, uh, which made me feel pretty bad. Place of old. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Um, just recapping last week. Yeah. Oh, we went back to the apartment. No, that was... No. That was when he got knocked out. Yeah. But yes, that's right. I am. I am have to break up a... a protest. Well, it's seven past, so um, let's do it. Let's get started. Let's load. I'm gonna scoot the volume up a little bit on my end. Just a couple, couple spots. All right. So. Uh, saves. Oh no! I have to select save, and then you go in. Yep. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Break pro. Free shoot was... That's right, I tried to shoot somebody in the hospital? Yeah, because I have a gun now. Yeah, I have a gun. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, break pro is, is where we're at. We're still only in chapter two, so let's do it. Let's kick in. Sip some beverage. All right. So we have inspected nothing on this side of the screen. Nothing at all has been inspected. So we have an open sign, a door, an open sign, uh, an open sign, a hot cup sign, a sutro tower, a weather rom. Okay, so am I going to talk to weather rom and convince it that weather is bad and it will chase people away? Um, okay. So let's look at the door. The Hassy bar, that's right, Hassy. Hassy. Uh, has a festive wreath on it. Okay. Uh, the wreath smells like... Smells like Hassie. Yep, sorry. Yep, so there's only two. Alright, to open door. Whoa, I can go into the Hassie bar. Whoa! We gotta leave. We gotta leave right now. That's a window. How do I... Oh, leave? Leave the Hassie bar. Okay. Alright. We are not touching the Hassie Bar until we know more about this space. Look at open sign. The Hassie Bar is another favourite local spot that is open 24-7. The best place to find plenty of great new Hassie flavours. Okay. I'll try that again. Maybe we'll find something inside there. Or we could at least get a drink. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They need two open signs to show how not closed they are. Hassie Bar. Yep, yeah, cool. Generally, it's going to be the same. Maybe we'll find yep. something. Yep. All right. Hot cup sign. Hassy Holdings just released the new Hassy Hot Cup, a disgusting combination of hot cup instant ramen and Hassy Hot. Oh my god. So Hassy is. I don't know if it's meant to be Coke or Red Bull, because the pushy. Uh advertising from the previous weeks. I feel like there was a Red Bull aspect to it. So Red Bull and ramen or mother and ramen. That's what I'm that's what I'm imagining here. Um mm. delicious. In a rush, get a hassy hot cup for your nudes and hass all in one go. Now that's convincing. They didn't where was the end of the quotation marks? Like look at this, look at this, I'll do it again. Oh, it is there. Okay, I missed it. I missed it. Use hot cup sign. No ramen is that instant. Try inside. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, use an item. ID. Even if you display your ID up at the sign, no ramen will find its way to you. Okay? But look who I am. All right, spoiled milk. Whatever kind of strange food swap this would be, you'd definitely be the one coming out on top. Okay. So there is, there is definite hassy feels here. Uh, there's an in-depth cooking lesson all about how hot cup ramen is made. You can't make an order from out here. That's not a speaker. All right, all right. It's the future. I don't know what isn't isn't a speaker. All right, Sutro Tower. Even though it has been around so long, Sutro Tower is still very useful as a powerful broadcasting antenna for high-speed data. Okay. Uh, it remains a beautiful reminder of the antiquated technologies of centuries past. I see. So Sutro Tower is probably a San Francisco landmark, and now in Neo SF, it's been repurposed and 
um, therefore it needed to be included in the game and the skyline. That's interesting. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Anything else? Yep. Uh, data. Headphones. Uh, it's out of range, but the soothing hum you hear while staring out at the calming view speaks louder in the end. Oh, that's nice. Um, Alright, so Weatherom is it. Look at Weatherom. Interesting. A RSU climate control ROM model 6703, if I am not mistaken. Mm hmm. Apparently, it is owned by the Hassi Bar based on this identification marker. Okay. So they own a weather droid. Don't ask me how it works. I don't have any clue about the thermodynamics involved. Can't you look it up on the mesh? If you want to learn more about it, perhaps someone in the Hassi Bar can answer your questions. Hello. Okay. Don't ask me how it works. No, okay, yep. If you want to learn more... Yep, yep, pretty clear. Um, check it out. ID? The Weatherom glances at your ID and spits out some snow coating the front of it. Swell. It generates weather? So the reason there's a wreath there is because they're looking for a cold weather aspect to their advertising. Like, it's cold weather time, and so the, the droid is meant to make it hot hassy appropriate. That's interesting. And that is almost certainly the solution to the puzzle, right? Is that we um, create terrible weather for the protesters, right? Feels like the answer. Um, milk. Uh, are you prepared to be responsible for creating a new kind of tropical storm? One with spoiled milk for rain? Yeah, absolutely. Um, gotta be around for something, right? A vibrant mix of weather sounds and natural ambience fills your ears. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, okay, I'm gonna save again before I shoot. And in fact... This is, this is forever the pre-shoot save file. Because if you're going to shoot stuff, you want to be sure that it's all going to be okay. Continue! Wait, no, what? No! Get me out of there. No! Oh, whoa, I can go left? Oh, for the love of God. Alright, so this is hopefully going to be a big and complex puzzle. I want, I want, some, uh, I want some shit to go down. Also, shoot! You shouldn't attack the poor weather rom. Okay, it's true. Yeah, it's a, there's a good chance that the, the gun is just going to tell me, you know, tell me no, which is fair. Uh, you, well, speak to Retheron. Let's not. Two's company, three's a cloud. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Terrible. This kind of ROM requires an RFID key to access it. Mm -hmm. It appears to be owned by the nearby Hassi bar. Hassi. All right. In we go. Okay, so starting from this side, we have window, Christmas tree, uh, VR drama poster, video game poster, VR drama poster, uh, customer, a bench, so many items, um, a plant, lots of plants, a counter, Hassi bar owner, Hassi rom, Hassi bar menu. Wow, all right, let's work our way through. Uh, crafty devious sci-fi uh, guy, Hassi is definitely an energy drink with way too many flavors. Okay, noted, noted. No, Ted. Place of old getting hype about the Christmas tree. I didn't know you were um, so keen on Christmas trees. Uh, this is the most picturesque Christmas tree imaginable. Its branches are perfectly spaced. Every decoration is placed meticulously. Looks pretty good. Is this even a real tree? They can make really convincing plastic trees these days. Well, I mean, it is the future. It is Neo SF. Touch Christmas tree. Your Christmas spirit flows through you momentarily. Okay, so the writers also think Christmas is very cool. You feel like buying something. Okay, I'm being hip hypnotized. Very good. Um, headphones, traditional Christmas fair plays interspersed with the occasional modern holiday party song. Okay. You really shouldn't be allowed to carry that. Okay, yeah. Uh, VR drama. Oh, no, there is a movie poster. Let's do that first. Uh, a feature documentary exploring the queer side of virtual reality. Okay. 
Uh, it's being shown at the Castro Theatre next week as part of a marathon of tech media films. That sounds great. Um, I want to go to there. Uh, another VR poster, a business drama called Tomorrow's Tears. It's a period piece set in late 1980s Japan during the bubble economy just before the lost decade. Uh, Duck Game began as a traditional video game but has recently become a popular VR sport. All the kids are quacking about it. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, don't waste too much time quacking or you'll be a sitting... Well, you know. Yeah, I do know. And the writing got really good up until that one specific point. Uh, it's a poster for Magical Commander Yukino, a magical girl VR drama. It looks like it was signed, maybe by the actress? Okay. Um, and then the menu. Look at, it's the digital Passy menu. Even when you don't want to drink, it's fun to watch the screen flash. That's true. They have all the basic Passy flavors, but their specialty menu has other Passy bar exclusive drinks like Sassy Passy, Poison Passy, Classy Passy, or a Grassy Passy shot. Terrifying. You should get a Passy hot chocolate from their seasonal menu. The voice of a rom starts reading out the Hassy Bar's menu. Oh, I, 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 I know, I've got one. I'm not going to use the gun. Um, use Hassy Bar menu? If you want a Hassy, you have to pay the Hassy Rom. Yep, okay, that's fair. Well, I'm not going to do that yet. We're going to inspect the bench. Spotless as expected from hydrophobic Swede. Okay, Swede. <laughs> Swede. Um, the colour and texture matches the counter, so they were probably a set. Yep, yep, I could, yep, I believe it. No time to rest anymore, sleepyhead. We have our mission. Let's get to it. Full steam ahead. I have a head wound. A relaxing, ambient version of the Hassy theme starts playing. They actually want people to hang out here, apparently. The bench plays a theme song. That's terrifying. Um, tables are selectable. Oof, it's a compu table good for playing games and reading feeds while sipping a Hassy. Okay, so it's just a big tablet. Like most things in the Hassy bar, it emits a subtle, pleasant glow. Uh, you touch the surface of the table and your own interface window appears. That honking is coming from outside, right? Okay, so there's an outdoor honking, some sort of car alarm. Uh, our neighbours like to tinker with cars in the front yard, so it's almost certainly from that. Um, that balance of probability, I feel like that's strong. Um, uh, a feed about the history of Hassie begins playing. Uh, customer... Look at customer. Everyone loves Hassie. Looks like they've got a full stuffed Hassie. I don't, I don't know what that is. Hassie bar customers tend to be regulars. With the new Hassie hot cups, you could last all day in here. Um, let's talk. I really do like a good sassy Hassie. Hassie hot is also great. Do you say multiple things? If you haven't tried it yet, definitely go get a Hassie hot chocolate. All right, shill. To me, Hassie represents an easy escape from the flavorlessness of life. You live in the cyber future. To be honest, Hassie has completely changed my life. I come here every day. Okay. Do you think it's weird how much I like Hassie? How much do you like Hassie? It's always the best, right? I wonder if there's something wrong with me. Maybe a winter fresh Hassie will help me figure this out. Maybe the new introspection Hassie. Crafty Devious, they do distinguish between Mango Hassy and Salty Lassie Hassy. Wow. The old list of Hassy flavours on their wiki. My giddy aunt. Don't judge me. I mean, I don't, I don't judge you. I, it's, it's how you were written. I'm not going to shoot them. Um, oh no, I'm not going to use the cursor. Uh, plant. Look at plant. Uh, there are rumours that the plants here are all actually given Hassy, not water. Is that abuse? Maybe a Hassie that plant would abuse? help your plant at home. Well, I mean, does it have electrolytes? Touch plant. You tap the glass. The plant doesn't seem to notice. Okay, that's super reasonable. Uh, even the plant seems to want you to buy some Hassie. Okay. Uh, counter. Look at counter. Uh, the counter is so clean it shines. It almost looks like it's emitting its own light. Yeah, is there a psychotropic aspect? To, to Hassie. Advertisements for new Hassie flavors start playing. Didn't see that one coming. Ho ho! Uh, t use counter. You can see the different Hassie through the glass, but you can't reach in and grab one. Only the Hassie ROM can. Okay. 
So, um, we'll talk to the owner first if the if the ROM is the one. Oh no, let's, okay, let's ROM first. Let's ROM first. This ROM serves up the passy. Just look at the menu and pick a drink, then give your order to the passy ROM. Okay. Uh, ID card. Don't worry, we've already linked your purchases to your Hassy Points account. Oh, good. Sorry, no custom ingredients. That, that's okay. That's fair. Please don't touch the Hassy Rom. Okay. Uh, talk to Hassy Rom. You buy a hoisin Hassy. Yum. I do. You go for another with Hassy hot chocolate. Okay, so these aren't inventory items. How about a vanilla Hassy? Maybe a crystal Hassy. Crystal meth. You buy a salty Lassie Hassy. Yum. You go for another with a crystal Hassy. How about a hoisin Hassy? Okay, I feel like we've, we've bottomed out. Uh, she seems bored. Since there's a ROM that handles all of the ordering, there's not much for her to do right now. Yeah, so um, this is a game where automation has not visibly messed with employment too much. Um, am I forgetting something? Was that a plot point and I've, um, I just forgotten it because we haven't interacted with it for ages? It's certainly not enough of a plot point that I need to be dealing with it as part of the mystery, right? Like, ROMs just always help and are cool. Uh, obviously, the Human Revolution would have something to say about it, but their the ways that they intersect with the game are messing with, um, potentially messing with Hayden, but probably not, and absolutely messing with people who um, have bioengineered bodies. But, I mean, the owner is just standing next to a ROM and is bored. Um, it's... And there's nothing to prevent her from also selling and serving drinks, right, if she wants to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a game that has incorporated automation without trying to make big statements about whether that's a good or a bad thing. It's making small statements either side, but it's not a core element, I think. It's interesting. Because it is, you know, at least in, in current... I'm certainly feeling it these days, you know, uh, that pressure in the, in the news cycle. All right, um, having a look. Uh, she has a cool fashion sense. Let's... A brochure for the human revolution. Mmm, okay, now let's talk to her first. Let's talk to her first. Ah, that is the most adorable little ROM. What kind of model is it? Where did you get it? Time to lie. It's so moe. I don't know that word. Uh, custom model, I'm not sure. They were a gift, the mouthy kind. Um, custom model is self-evident. It's a vacuous enough statement that I think I can get away with it. Oh, wow. You don't see a whole lot of those around. Must have taken ages to get that case looking that good. With the home printer, too. Already jumping to conclusions for I'm me. Impressed. I love it. Anyway, what can I get you? A drink and maybe some information. A drink I can do. And I guess I have some time to talk. The protesters outside the clinic are driving off a lot of my regular customers. Hmm. Okay, so she's on side from a corporate standpoint. Oh, Moe is anime slang, apparently. All right, noted. Thank you, Crafty. Filling up my bathroom, too, jerks. <laughs> so, what do you want to know? Tell me about yourself, climate control ROM, Turing Moe. Okay, I will have stuff explained to me. Tell me about oh. yourself. I never introduced myself, did I? I'm Ramona. Okay, Ramona. I guess there isn't much to tell. I went to college, got a degree, took out a loan and bought this place. I, as one is wont to do. Now I spend my days trying to find enough time and money to sustain my VR drama addiction. Ah, this explains the... My priorities are justice, cute stuff, and magical girls. In that order. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What else? I pretty much don't leave the store. Uh, you don't seem pleased about the human revolution. Look, they've got the right to protest, but I don't have to like it. Mm -hmm. Once they're done with the hybrids, I know they'll be coming for me next. 
so I'll be voting appropriately. Yep, yep. And if I have to unclog one more toilet because of an <laughs> entitled bigoted jerk face, I will lose my goddamn mind. I like her. Why would they come after you? Oh, you can't tell? I've got a cybernetic arm and leg, thanks to an auto cap crash when I was a kid. I, I also got neural links for VR interfacing. If I had even bothered to look closely at um, how she's depicted in, in the actual larger room, um, I should have noticed the damn arm. If it was up to those dinosaurs, I'd be stuck in a wheelchair right now. Or worse, depending on how far back they want to push our medical technology. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's already illegal for me to have a rocket-powered fist. What more do they want? Uh, is that your climate controller outside? It does a good job, huh? Yeah, that's mine. Well, technically, it's property of Hassey Holdings. We spent some mints on it, but the rest of the block helps pitch in for maintenance costs since I usually set it to patrol the whole area. You should check it out when we do Christmas in July. Yeah. It can cover the whole street in snow, as long as it's cloudy enough to keep the sun off. Sort of like today. Would you mind if I take it for a Sorry, spin? But that thing cost me way too many credits to let just anyone poke at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would need to see some serious credentials before I let you mess with it. Okay, I need serious credentials. You know, enough to make sure you can afford to replace it if you break it. Hmm. Otherwise, no touching. Culturing Moe. Sorry, Otaku speak. I just mean he's really cute and lovable, and you kind of want to hug him forever, you know? I don't mind people using slang a for lot of come around cultural here. mores. Probably because I own the place. I'm used to being able to shoot my mouth off and not explain all the jargon. No, go for it. Otaku as in Japanese cartoon? Yeah, I know it's a bit out of fashion, but I'm a history buff. Yeah, so this is, yeah, 2064. Wow, the idea that that would go out of fashion. I mean, it's, it's possible, you know? It's entirely possible. It's just, I guess that's the thing, when you're ensconced in your own time period, as we all are, um, some things just feel so persistent. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, I say. The past really gives context to stories of the present. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, yes. I've yes, been to I Tokyo do. twice already. Whoa! The old otaku resists the new culture of the Saishi in the same way their parents refuse to give up cassette tapes. Hmm. The Saishi? Oh, sorry. The Saiba Shibito. The Cyber Dead. The fuck? In the early 21st century, Japan had an epidemic of chronic shut ins. And the rise of direct link virtual reality only made that worse. Hmm. Suddenly, people weren't just refusing to leave their rooms, they were refusing to leave their heads. But as the technology got better, the Saishi were the first to figure out how to use their own brains to sculpt cyberspace. Computers are good at thinking in straight lines, but the human brain is capable of so much more. Mm-hmm. Had to... Had to drop in that, that trope. The best virtual landscapes, the most real VR dramas and games are created by the Saishi. I mean, here it's warranted in that it seems to be, I'll, let, I'll get to the end of the- Now, even I'll, if I'll an let earthquake or a meteor or whatever level Japan, they still have Neo Tokyo built on the VR net. But enough babbling. But wouldn't all the people in Tokyo who are inhabiting Neo Tokyo in a cybernetic way die? Or are they literally, is their consciousness meant to be literally leaving their bodies and going to another place? If you're interested, I'm sure you could find more out on the mesh or use an induction helmet to visit Neo Tokyo yourself. It's a trip, especially for newbies. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so the trope of, um, oh, humans can be so interesting and creative where computers only think in straight lines um, is such a well-established 
thing, and I feel like I've railed on it before, but it being here in specific reference to, so, so she dropped it like a brick um, in a way that I don't love, but then followed it up with the context of people creating the best, you know, people's brains being used to sculpt cyberspace, then creating a cyberspace that is more evocative to humans. That makes, um, that makes great sense. That works, right? Because um, humans speaking to humans and making things evocative to humans um, is a huge part of culture and what people do with their time. So I buy into that completely. Um, the, the philosophical premise, only it's only stated as a precursor to what she says afterwards. Um, and if, if they just switched those, if those statements had just been switched, I wouldn't have even paused. No, I mean, I might have still paused and talked, but they wouldn't have been, you know, a short moment of me shaking my fist and then realizing I need to get to the end of the, the spiel. Mm. All right, I think that's everything. Okay. I need credentials. Enjoy your drink and let me know if you need anything else. Well, I've had like seven Red Bull equivalents, so yeah, um, I need to leave. And sprint along this street. La 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 la. Uh, go left. Okay. Uh, news. So video billboard. A brick. Oh my. Uh, and a Mooney stop. So a muni municipal stop. Okay, so there's not as much here as I thought there would be. So my guess is that the credentials that I need to show her are the card from rich person. VR destroys love. What? Please save love. Right, so this is the, um... It's, oh, what's that? That episode of Futurama, where um, you can download a celebrity into a blank robot, and then that robot will just love you, and thus there's that scare video of if you love the fake celebrity robot person, then you won't love actual people. Um, when the message should be that um, copying people's personalities um, slash likenesses um, and then entering a weird non-consensual relationship type thing with them is actually the creepy part. Um, anyway, I mean, the, the, the episode sort of addresses that, but not quite. Um, but yeah, that, that, that scare of if you make things, if you make the virtual realms, the virtual realms that... Um, that we young people love. If they are made too good, then people will stop living in the real world anymore. Um, which, you know, those arguments presuppose that you're leaving the real world. I mean, you're still in it. You're just ensconced in one element of it that, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Uh, video billboards cycling through advertisements for a few different things. First the news, then a commercial for the VR drama Tomorrow's Tears. Ah, uh, okay. So it wasn't even what I thought. The popular mainstream news shows are much more scandalized and sensationalized than your brand of journalism. Uh-huh, which is reviewing okay. headphones? Everything. I'm June Fowler and I'm okay today. Classic. Ramona probably likes seeing the VR drama ads on her block. Okay, we've seen it all. You caress the video screen, but it's not a touch screen. That's fair. When all the doom and gloom of the news is said and done, we ask you, the viewer, what's okay today? Okay, so I'm reciting its own ad back at it. All right. Look at brick, an off-color brick stuck in the wall. It looks pretty loose and seems wobbly. Okay, pick up brick. A loose brick wobbles as you palm the wall. Do you think it would be okay to take that? Pull the brick out? Yeah, why not? Might come in handy for something. Nah, dunno what it need that for. Really? So instead of the typical adventure game thing of do you just pocket it? I'm really curious now. So if I'm carrying a brick. If I'm visibly holding a brick, if the game takes me to be holding it as opposed to it's just about my person, uh, will the rioters get mad? 
right? Will it just trigger automatically? Or will scaring them away with a brick be something that I have to actively choose? If so, I'm not choosing it. That's not the way we're solving this because I presume this is a multi-solution puzzle. But the fact that I have to double check whether I'm even picking up the brick, I'm gonna say, don't know what I need that for. And I'm gonna save. Um, and we're, we are gonna pocket it and see if anything goes wrong with pocketing it. Because I, I wanna have it, it's an item. It's a, it's a adventure game, like what do you want from me? Um, what I want is to have as many items. Um, brick. Because, you know, it's, it's an item. It's an item to be had. Yeah, brick for life. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, tasty beverage. I mean, I doubt it's the only solution, but it seems to be a solution. Um, talk to Brick? It's not looking for anything serious right now. Okay. Uh, pick up Brick. Hmm, do you think it would be... Uh, I, yes. Yeah. You take the Brick. It's thick and heavy, but you carry it around and maybe even find a use for it. Brick added to items. Well, it's a brick, and it's drowning slowly. Uh, look at Muni stop. It's a wave shelter, so Muni riders can keep out of the rain. Okay. They're actually pretty comfortable after a long night out. That's pretty good. Uh, next bus, 66 minutes. What? Did I come here via the bus? I just seem to be moving around town. You know, they don't... I just go to places, and it's fine. All right. So I feel like the answer to the puzzle, such as it is, is to show credentials, which I do have. So I have a business card. I have a brochure for the human revolution. Let's start with the brochure. Uh, did you get that from the genus protest? She's just grossed out by it, as she should be. All right. Dr. Yannick Fairlight. Fairlight, there I've we go. Super rich guy? Used to own System 1? That's the one. Why are you giving me his card? I work for him. He's looking to buy a climate control ROM like yours. So... Yeah, there are going to be... If I had to hazard a guess, if there's going to be nice options and non-nice options, the nice options do require lying to people, which is admittedly unnice in its own way. Or there's the uh, not nice option, which is literally hurling a brick, which is super aggressive. Is It is more honest. It is upfront. But I think the crafty way, I think the, yes. the sneaky way. Let's just fucking lie to people. He's getting on in years and it would be useful for when he goes out and about. I mean, plus, I mean, this, this could still get back to me. I was going to say that this is less like, because I'm meant to build a relationship potentially with Fairlight and this human revolution dude is his friend. I would have fucked that guy. That's why we wanted to see it before. Hmm. I need a close look at it to make sure it'll suit his purposes. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess you can take a peek. Don't bust it, though. I scanned this card, and I swear if you break my ROM, I'll be calling your boss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here's the RFID key to access it. Thank you. This will surely be useful for our needs. Papawoo. All right. Shall we go Let's... check it out? Yeah. Right away. Hassie. All right. <laughs> Brick. Okay, so I don't have the RFID key as an item, but if I just use... Mm, this yep. ROM has multiple different climate control settings. Maybe we could make things a little more festive. Christmas is my favorite season. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Should I switch it to snow mode? There are alternatives? Uh, yeah, turn this baby on. Trophy earned, happy hot cup. Ha! It's snowing? 
Okay, people, I for one didn't bring any winter wear. Let's call it a day for now. That is a very mildly broken up uh, protest, right? Like, I'm. Excellent work! Am I, am I meant to come down here every day to, to please Jessica and do that? Like, it's a very... Low... Oh, the snow melted! While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to disperse a protest, we at least accomplished our goal peacefully. And to be frank, considering how the human revolution is clearly working against my personal interests, I won't waste many clock cycles puzzling that ethical quandary out. Well, no. Hmm! Mm. Might I draw your attention to those youths over yonder? <gasps> youths! Counterculture clothing, obvious bad attitudes, and graffiti paraphernalia. <laughs> obvious bad attitudes. How can those you- Those could be our suspects who damaged my home in the name of revolution. What? Uh, could they? Could they really? What a fucking conclusion to jump to. I mean, I'll talk to them, but... What the fuck was that plot angle? That's preposterous. <sighs> All right. Uh, I'll talk to them. We'll talk right. to them. We should approach them cautiously as to not start a confrontation with the wrong individuals. With you. They may even point us to the true culprits. Because all criminal youths know each other. This is oh no. very They've strange. Our attentions. Come along. Maybe we can catch them. Okay, so there's no running minigame. Nope, they're just gone. We'll never catch them on foot. Hold on. I'm calling for an auto cab of our own. Wow. I know it seems a great deal of trouble for such a tenuous lead, but I have a hunch about them. Hey, you call the cab and I don't know what I'm doing the next. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. Uh... Wait, what? Uh, the that... auto cab is estimated to take five minutes to arrive. That saying made... That saying did not make we'll sense in the way I think it was intended to. In pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should call Tomcat. Mm-hmm. For reasons? Maybe they can do some bit of techno wizardry and stop that cab. Okay. Yeah, ring him up. Excellent. Hold on while I connect us. Howdy, folks. How's the search for the data cache going? Uh, we Actually, met at Snow. That's what we're calling about, Tomcat. We may have located the perpetrators, <laughs> but they I saw Yuz. and are making their escape in an auto cab. Yuz got into a cab and went away, so they're bad. We attempted to use a cab of our own to tail them, but it hasn't arrived, and they're getting away. Can you hack the cab and stop it? <sighs> no can do, little guy. How how would how would they Security even know which on cab? Those cabs is tight, and the dang thing will shut down its external net connection long before I get in. Unless... Oh, I have an idea. Sit tight for just a sec. Uh, to turn all of the traffic lights red between here and wherever? Citywide right. gridlock. I went faster than spin on a skillet. I did a job a few years back and had to break into the city's central traffic network. Do me a favor and don't ask why. The back door Jump. I drilled into that long ago is still wide open. I'm logging into the traffic management system now. Hmm. Wait. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. They may not have fixed that back door, but they did install a new counter-intrusion VI. Destroy it. Oh, the damn thing is hot on my tail. What an exciting thing to be happening to someone that isn't me. It's great, great to hear about it. Um... What can we do? I gotta take care of this VI. I'm gonna need the two of you to handle the traffic system. Turn, I'm passing control to you. Oh, hey, okay, it is actually a... Hold tight. I'm gonna be doing some two sets of hands on one keyboard kind of hacking. 
Interesting. I possibly should have asked about the VI. Just push on the map and load it up on Turin's face. Sorry, Turin. But it's almost certainly just a virtual intelligence. Ooh, they're on the move. Okay, what do I do? Here's how it works. Use your display map to keep track of their cab and redirect it back to you. You can trigger traffic nodes at intersections so the cab thinks the streets are blocked off. Do it right, and you should be able to steer them right back to you. Hmm, okay. You just gotta make sure to stop them where you're at, or else they'll just go running off on foot. I'll put a goal marker on the map for you. You can trigger any node on the map at any time, so plan ahead. I'd say you'll have time for two moves every time they hit an intersection. If they go off the map, though, you'll lose them. Hmm. Block every road that leads out of our grid, and watch the places with three exits you can't all cover in one go-around. Just hurry. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep this VI from messing on the carpet, and once I kill the connection, this old trick is over. Hmm. Hmm. I'll tap into the cab control node they're currently arriving at. Our top priority is to ensure they cannot leave the area Tomcat's given us access to. I'll mark the southern exit as closed first. Yep. We'll only have time to block off two routes before the auto cab will make a decision and move. We shouldn't block the route back here. We have to stop them where we can catch them. Yeah. Uh -huh. Once you get them back here, press the big button on top of the map to shortwire the auto cab. Be careful. If you stop their ride anywhere else, they'll just run off. What do you think our next move should be? Well, there's two options. Um. What am I aiming for? So, to, I want to get them back to the goal, and that means... So, I do two, which is there, there, and then it moves, so I do there, there, moves again, I do there, there, moves again, I do there, there, moves there, I do there, and... Oh, no, hang on, no, 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 I won't be able to send them back up, so... Um, yeah, I like that this is turn-based, at least. I thought I was going to have to be, you know, quick time eventing this. Mm. If I... Block them to the north, send them east, and then I can block them south and east, and then they go north, then I can block them... Yeah, so the multiple intersections are what I want to dodge, right? So I don't, I don't ever want them to get to there. I'm trying to figure out if using this two-block system... So I don't know if I have to, have to hit two, right? Because that's where it gets tricky. Because if I force them across, then I can't ever send them down. If I send them up... Yeah, okay. So I can't ever, perhaps, go back through here. Um, but I feel like sending them across is better. No, okay, okay, I think I think I can... Okay, uh, let's block them to the north. I've saved anyway. Turn, I can't have you talking. It's messing with the signal. It's up to you now. AI bots. All right. Don't let I can those do it. punks escape and don't trap them anywhere. <laughs> those it's punks. Not here. Those we can access any use. of the control nodes in the area at any time. Plan ahead, and we should be able to get them. Ah, okay, cool. Got it? I do. Okay. So they're here. So I select, and then I pick a node. Okay, cool. So... Yep. Cool, so if I do that, uh, if I go here... I block them leaving to the right. I mean, that that's a given. Then if 
I do this? Okay, cool. So they could go back down, but that's actually fine. They're unlikely to. Um, if I block them from going above, they will just turn right. So if I send them up, and then I can block top and right, and then I send them to the left. I can block top and start working on blocking off Market Street in a, in a specific way, right? Mmm, mmm, yep. Okay, let's, look, let's just try it, let's just try it. I, th I think this is my plan. So I don't think I'm coming back across this way. Although, I don't think that's necessarily bad that I go across this bit. I don't want them to go to the right. I mean, if they just head up, I get a free move. And if they head across... Uh, no, if they head across, I'm... No, no, no. Okay. I actually want to keep them going up, I think. Because I get a guaranteed free move on the next... Yep, so this... Here, there, and then there. Yep. Okay. Block from the top, so now they're going to go... Oh no, if I do this... No, I'm not meant to block them off completely, right? I don't think they're going to backtrack. I mean, these are intersections. They're probably not able to backtrack, right? If I were to block this off, they might just get off and then that would just be the end of it. So I think I do want to do this, direct them down. And then they're going to come down to here. If I block this block at the bottom already, then they come down here and then I get to block two here in preparation, which is going to be... Um, Yeah, it has to be church and market. Then they're either going to go across. Yeah, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this. Um... Like this. And they move. Cool. Now I have two, so I need to prevent them from going to church and market. There. And then there. What? Really? Oh, I went to all that effort. Um, they're just going to head down, right? I mean, this should be fine. Just for shits and gigs. Yep. Cool. I'm going to keep fucking with traffic. Come into my web. Yeah, even if they wanted to escape. They're just not going to. This was... really easy. Stop taxing. We've got them now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Fuck up some use. We'll stop them, and then we can interrogate the miscreants. <sighs> Such lengths to go to. What the hell do you want? It's a great Who question. Who do you think you're messing with, huh? You ain't got nothing on us, and if you don't get out of my way, I'll mess you up. This is where I pulled hey, a gun. What do you think we should do? We haven't observed them doing anything illegal, and we could potentially make this go over smoothly. Or we could share news of this encounter with Lexi before things get out of hand. These two seem agitated already, and it may be best to make sure they're handled by the appropriate authorities. Yeah, um... Those are the options I deduced. Questions or cops? It's up to you. How do you want to do this? Oh. It'd be smart to grill them and see what they know, or Lexi will know what to do, time to face the law. That's tough, because there is a police cover-up. 
I feel like it's smarter to just do things my own way. Um, if things go sour, I have a gun and a brick and some sour milk and some headphones and an ID. Um, and that seems like a, uh, you know, perfect, perfect set of things to, uh, to use. Oh, we have a Says Rambo. Hello, Says Rambo. Um, yeah, we're interrogating punks. We just um, absolutely fucked up their cab ride for not terribly good reasons, I think. Um, but we did it. It's been done. Um, yeah, I think we're going to interrogate them. I think that's the smarter option. Um, bringing Lexi in is all well and good, but yeah, the, the police cover up. This will just cover, they'll just cover things up more. So, yeah. Crafty Devious makes an excellent point. Um, Lexi will just be disappointed in you. I think that's very true. We just have a few questions for you, sirs. If you'd be so kind as to give us a few minutes of your time. Did you not hear what I... Maybe we should just answer their questions. Hey, a nervous punk. Those glasses. I mean, we didn't do anything wrong, right? Um, right. We ain't got nothing to hide. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the spray paint for? We're newbie street artists. Mm-hmm. These are the tools of our trade. I love that in 2064, uh, Japanese um, magical girl otaku culture is on the slide, but saying newbie is just, it's back. It's back and it's good. These are all above board and legal. We just got done making a piece for a client. That's right! We're artists! Okay. What's in the bag? Are you a cop? Because if you ain't, we ain't got nothing in the bag. Blah! Why'd you run? Running? Who's I running from? You calling me a coward? Uh, I don't think that's what they were insinuating. Uh, right! We just got places to get to, and gotta go fast! You're holding us up! This is ridiculous. Enough! Stop assuming you can misdirect us with blustery words and feigned ignorance! I've matched the hues of those paints and the patterns of the bottom of your shoes with 95% accuracy to the scene of Hayden Weber's apartment. So either you had that information before Turing and you didn't open with it, or this lucky guess slash, you know, deus ex youths has led us to this particular plot nodule. Now tell us what you were doing there and why you stole Hayden's data cache. Now you're accusing us of stealing? Why I oughta... Why I oughta... I think they're on to us. Maybe we just answer their Chad. questions so they don't go to the cops? Ah, it's always a Chad. Damn it, Oliver! I told you I'm Starfucker now! Oh no. Ah. Oh. God, that, that, that Nine Inch Nails song was dated when I heard it. Good God. Fucking classic like chat. said we would go to a movie afterwards. I don't even care about this human revolution stuff. Just because your dad. Don't talk about my dad. Fine. Whatever. We'll answer your friggin' questions. So the dad is gonna be Fairlight, or it might be some sort of Parallax person, or indeed it could be, um, you know, um, Roy Orbison, head of the uh, Human Revolution, the alt-right uh, in this chapter. Why tag Hayden's apartment? Do you know anything about Hayden's kidnapping? Why did you take the data cache? Oh man, no big reason. I mean, he's a big hotshot researcher at Parallax, right? We heard a rumor his place was empty. Who's gonna pass up a sweet target like that? We don't need any more of this tech shit. Like your lippy Rom over there. Do you know anything about Hayden's kidnapping? Oh, kidnapped? certainly not. He's been kidnapped? Shit, we ain't got nothing to do with that. We just sliced the door controls and trashed the place. Wasn't nobody there. Why'd you take the data cam? I told you we didn't steal nothing! Be quiet, Chad. I don't want to go to Juvie. Here, 
You can have it. Hey! Also, it. <laughs> Even the word it was in that nice teal, signifying that it's a, a cool item. Okay, well, thanks for giving it back. Stay out of trouble, you're good kids. Maybe you should give up vandalizing people's homes. You're lucky we don't call the cops. Um, I'm gonna go the middle option. I think I think midline in this situation. Yeah, whatever. Just get out of my way. Yeah, I mean I'll say what I want, but um, I my the chances of me convincing you are, are pretty low. Um, you seem pretty wedded to this we idea. I'll give it a go, go, but and we're real sorry. We weren't trying to hurt anyone. Oliver, you're all right. All right, let's go catch that movie. Great. Can we get dinner first? Sure. Whatever you want. A hot cup of passy. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Is it uh, snowing? That's not right. We broke it, didn't we? I'm certain I deactivated snow mode. Incoming call from Tomcat. Hey, folks. Jess just called and told me she has a clear way to the access node. She'll get you inside, and I'll walk you through connecting me so I can access the Parallax network. That should help our hunt. That's right. That thing that we had to do for a reason. Did you get the data cache? Yes, those punks happen to have it. They just happen to have it. Oh, great. We don't have time to worry about it right now, though. Go to Stardust and drop it off with Majid for me, okay? He'll hold it to pass on to me once I get there. I managed to trigger an alert within Parallax's network security, and they're going to be moving their logs from one secure server to another. I need y'all in place of that access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. No problem, Tomcat. Okay, so that's we'll clearly... We'll make our way there directly after we return to Stardust. Okay, so Stardust then there. We can worry about the weather ROM's malfunction later. Can we? Let's go. Our mission for Jess is done. We can't... Don't bug it. It already seems to be in a stormy mood. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to save again. Um, let's replace this slot. Um, what are we doing? We are, uh, Starlight. Yep, yeah, I'm just, just going to put Starlight. Hey. Starlight, brilliant. Um, because that's where we're going next, and that will help me remember. Cool. Um, Starlight, excellent. Um, Brick. I'm going to load Brick. Hang on. So we do have it. We've got a save here. Starlight. Uh, yep, that appears to be a correct save. I'll save again, just to. Nope. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I think I think it is saved. I think it is saved. Saves. Go to brick. Let's load it, and I'm going to hurl a brick at those protesters. Oh, we have a well-lit weenie as well. Hello, 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 hello. Just going to sip my beverage a moment. I like that you opened with morning star fuckers. Well done you. Well done you. Um, oh yes. Pick mm, up brick. Do you think it would be okay? It's gonna be the best because I'm gonna hurl it uh, into somebody's face. You take the brick. Brick added to items. There's no brick here. Really? There's a gun. You shouldn't point that at him, even if you disagree with his politics. Who can I... All that, and you can't even... Oh, hurl a, hurl a brick at the police rock. Are you sure about doing that? Yes, for the moment. Just make sure to only hit the bot so you don't hurt somebody else. Ready? Go for it! Toss it! Ha! <laughs> Alright. So it wasn't even throwing it at them, it was throwing them at throwing it at the cop bot, so it just clear them away. Inelegant, but I have to admire the brutish efficiency. 
While I still have doubts about the moral superiority of using subterfuge to... I have and a then, feeling Jess won't be pleased, though. Uh, not that... Hmm... Yep, and then youths. Okay, so this was this was an error just because I want to save. I mean, load the previous save. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep. Those could be our ses Right. We should approach. They Come may on. even. Oh, Am no. I gonna get They've to a save screen? Attention. Oh no. Should have just googled it. We'll never catch them on. Hold on, I'm called. I know it seems a great. Blah 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 blah. blah. When no man pursueth. That's. Ah, uh, the auto cap. We'll never be able to engage in pursuit fast enough to catch up to them. Perhaps we should. Maybe they. Excellent. Hold on while I can. Howdy, folks. How's the search for the data cache? Actually, that's oh, this is tedious. I just want to not be doing this. Attempted to use a cab. Da, 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 da. <sighs> no can do, little guy. Come on. Security on those cabs is unless. Oh, I have an idea. How was everybody's Easter? Tell me Easter stories. Bomb me. Bomb me in this time of need. All right. I went faster. I did a job a few years. The back door I drilled into that. Wait. It may not have fixed that. Oh, the damn. Oh, what's a VI? Virtual intelligence. They're kind of like Turing, except less creative and inventive, and definitely not sapient. But they're nasty enough at hunting down hackers and crackers if you're willing to pay for a good one. I gotta take care of this VI. Okay, well, I got, I got that question Just answered. It was exactly what I thought it would be. Ah, brilliant. Here's how it works. You can trigger traffic nodes at. You just gotta make sure to. You can trigger any node on the. I'd say you'll have time. Block every road that leads. Just hurry. I don't know how. I'll tap into the. Our top priority. I'll mark the southern exit. We only have time to block. We shouldn't block. Once you get them back here, be careful. It what do you think our next come on I can't have you talking it's, it's up to you now don't let those Sans rainbow we ate many chocolate and had we can coddled eggs on hot cross buns coddled get... eggs got it I don't know what that is okay um I can't go to the menu it's giving me the menu thing but oh I have to do all of this again. I'm just gonna stop the taxi. No! No! They exited. And I've lost con they must have cut the connection. But perhaps all is not locked. Perhaps we can ask some. That sounds like a good idea. Wow. Maybe she can use her police resources in a way that doesn't put things this at is risk. The branching in this game. From Hey folks. That's novel. Just just called and told me she has a clear way to the end. Yep. She'll get you inside. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Did you get the data yep. cache? I want to get back to my pacifist no save. A uh, place oh, of old pretty average well, Easter, giving you a family. Uh but Pokémon, that's nice. Well, that is indeed hot. nice. Um okay, and yeah, Brandy's in a nap for us. Parallax's network security and I need y'all in place of that. No problem, Tom. We'll make our way there. Let's go. Our Okay, so um, you either hurl a brick at the cops and then presumably get in trouble with Lexi, or you fuck up a weather drone and then get in trouble with the Hassie Lady. And we chose the Hassie Lady, so that's just how that works now. That's fine. Um, yeah, this game is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty wild, pretty interesting. Um, I, I called it Starlight. But it's just called read-only memories? That's weird. But, okay. Um, yeah, we have things to do. To Starlight! Oh, well, it weenie. Coddling is poaching with little pots rather than doing the whole dropping eggs into water. Oh. Mm, 
that's interesting. Um, also, uh, you're positing that Turing is in on the cover-up. It's a novel uh, plot point. It's a novel thought. Um, that's my polite way of saying that I think you're wrong. Um, and that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yes, based on nothing. Um, all right, into Starlight. Go. Welcome to Stardust. Oh, Stardust. That's right. It's Stardust and it's Fairlight. We yep. should leave this data cache with him first, like Tomcat asked. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. All right. Tomcat asked me to take that off your hands and pass it on to them later. Thanks for getting it to me. Mm-hmm. I won't pester you about what it is. I know things it's are always illegal. very hush hush with Tomcat. Because of I'll the make sure they get it later today. Felonious. Excellent. Thank you. Would you like a brick? No outside bricks. <laughs> uh, that's so pure and good. Would you like to read a crappy pamphlet? I have no interest in reading that garbage. Good. Good. You passed the test. A distant patron, that's the one that I presumably could have scammed. Um... You again? All right, I'll let... Hey, I can go back in. Broke? I don't know broke. Okay, I can talk to Caitlin. I want to talk to Caitlin so that I can get a chance to apologize for uh, scamming, for being a scammer, being a scammy individual. This is exactly what I needed to get my mind off things. I disappeared for like an hour or three. That's all? I kind of feel like dancing now. Want to join me? Apparently not. This is exactly what okay, I need. Okay, okay. So there's no room to converse. It's just all fine now. Um, who are you? A skinny hybrid with green skin and pointy ears. Okay. Um. Uh, I wonder if they might like to go on an adventure like ours. What do you think, Turing? Bat or maybe frog? Um, let's go with the top one. I'm not against the thought of adding allies to our party, but perhaps another time. No, this isn't a party building game. Okay. I will talk to Brooke. I'm ashamed to say I've gone on a few assy spike benders in my time. Mm-hmm. I love vintage game experiences. Have you ever heard of Overblood? That's a terrible name. All right, let's just talk to Jess. Hey, I heard from my friends down the street that the protesters are gone. Must have been you, huh? Yeah, gone for the day. All right then. That was such a temporary I'm solution. I'm to give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. Tomcat said that if you got to an old abandoned access node, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. Access node out of the city map, okay. I called up a buddy who's on night shift for Parallax tonight. He can buzz you in. But if anything happens, you broke in. This puts okay. us at about even. Don't think about drawing any more debits for a while. Mm hmm Good luck. Keep me out of your shit. Uh, yeah. Let's leave. Let's do it. Let's map it up. Oh, just stretch. Oh, yeah. That's what a stretch sounds like. Oh, Crafty Devious, humor me is the brick in your inventory. It is. It is indeed in my inventory. I showed it to Majid, which you almost certainly saw. Um, says Rainbow asking how much time is passing here. I have no idea. Um, because I, you know, chatted to Caitlin as a way to scam myself into the VIP hybrid only area and um i'm now back in there whenever and caitlin talks to me like i only just met her five minutes ago so we won we won all right um let's go to this new location dog patch all right interesting i like the art hey chapter three i presume no okay just time change. This so now time has passed. This is the place said we should head to. Unassuming and quiet. I'll 
be honest, I don't think I would be in this section of the city without Jess giving us the all clear. The crime statistics are quite alarming, so let us get done with our errand here and move on to safer ground. We don't want to have to chase down another pair of youths. Don't be worried about getting mugged. Let's hope she sticks to her half of the bargain. Good to see your self-preservation routines working overtime. Let's go with the top one. I can't help it. Well, you Stealing are... the ROM is considered petty theft, and I'd really rather not be taken by some miscreants out to pawn me for a minor amount of credits. That's entirely reasonable. Our hypothetical kidnapper wouldn't even be punished worse than a slap on the wrist if it were a first offense. Though, I suppose I shouldn't get too worked up about the legal system not accounting for machine sapiens. I am the first. That's true. That's very true. The, the legal stuff around this, um, yeah, is, uh, is a pretty wild ride. Um, World at Winnie asking if the player character is human. Uh, Crafty Devious replying, unclear, but probably, given that hybrids have assumed will be a bigot against them. Yeah, yeah, I think, um, I think we can read, um, uh, you can read just, you know, vanilla human into this. The great thing is, is that, um, got to choose a name, so obviously the name chosen was AI Butts, but also got to choose pronouns. Uh, so we went with the, the he, him, if I'm not mistaken, um, just for familiarity's sake on my end, but, um, super great. I really like that. I really like that aspect of the game. Um, yes. that I know of anyway. Okay, so what do we have? We have a fan. We have a fan and a generator. They are discrete items. Um, we have an apartment door. We have street art. We have litter, which I will almost certainly put into my inventory. We have a door to the access node. Okay, so let's go in order. Um, let's have a look at this generator. Beautiful turbo generator just out here generating energy. Wonder what's using all this extra power. Wow, so this thing is literally the thing that is making energy. It's just a generator out here on the street. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Um, a deep hum echoes throughout this alley. It would be relaxing if this place weren't so sketchy. Uh, turbo generators are really solidly built and not easy to get into without smashing them apart. Okay, noted, noted. I'm going to talk to it. Um, I'm not saying that. Uh... I can imitate some similar appliance turbine sounds for you, if you enjoy it so much. I do, actually. That's very nice of you. Uh, super spoiled milk. Oh my god, poor milk, don't pour milk. Did we find a use for the milk? Oh, let's explore every other option first. Uh, the deep, calm humming of nice turbo generator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the fan. Gotta keep the generator cool, or else, you know, it'll break. Mm-hmm. This fan needs no service. Yeah, well, give me a minute. Pipe. Look at pipe. This pipe is doing what all good pipes should do. It's piping out that energy. I feel like uh, there are plenty of pipes that don't exclusively pipe energy. Uh, out with the used, in with the unused. What, energy? You can't pull it off the generator no matter how hard you try. Okay. Did I try hard though? Actually, hang on. Did I get the second look at the fan? Uh, as you observe the fan spinning, you can't help but wonder if it could be a metaphor for your life. Um, I don't wonder that. It turns and turns, its only purpose to dissipate the waste energy of a consumptive process. Wow. So I actually dug their heels in and, and explained that um, surprisingly well, I must say. I'm, I'm, I was pleased by that. Uh, litter. Standard plastic bag level litter. Okay. Do I want it? Looks like it's crusted onto the sidewalk somehow. Okay, uh, fucking give it to me. Even if you wanted to pick that up, it's practically scum welded to the street. Did something just move around inside there? Oh, maybe. Let's talk to it. Gives new meaning to trash talk. I, it does not. Um, ID card. Throwing your ID on the ground? Are you working on a story about cyber cracking? I was thinking I could use the card to actually scrape um, the bag off the pavement. But no. No. All right, everyone's telling me to pour milk. I w I'm going to pour the milk, guys. I'm just, I want to I wanna fill things out first. I don't, I don't like pre-solving a puzzle before I even know what the puzzle is. Because then the writing gets weird, right? Because it's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. As if there was this, all the, you know, pre-assumed information. Because um, I didn't go through the proper channels. But yeah, no, we are absolutely pouring milk into that Jenny. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to throw it out, but this plastic bag isn't quite a dumpster. Uh, it's a dumpster adjacent, conceptually. Uh, some sad vibes are being thrown around. 
wow, that's one of the few times I've heard music through the headphones. And it was from Trash. Uh, the litter has very few opinions on him. Shame. This brochure deserves a more pathetic waste receptacle than this litter could ever aspire to be. Here, here. All right, street art. You know, right after we found Hayden's apartment in such disarray, I started looking into graffiti and street art more thoroughly. Hmm. I have never much considered doing any of it myself, but it seems like an interesting avenue to pursue once I move beyond abstract expressionism. Oh, that's right. Turing's an artist. Visual shoutings of identity and existence. They exhibit a feeling I can sympathize with. But it's these larger pieces, riots of color and chaos, that really interest me. I can see why. This one's... I like Heavy the mouse. vandalism is beneath me, but there are other avenues for the practice. For example, did you know that Los Angeles, in the mid-2030s, legalized the tagging of mural-style street art on any building without requiring permission from the owner or city? That is an interesting concept to work into your it game. It was chaos of the highest degree for a while, but now the place is truly remarkable. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps I will visit once this is all done with. Uh, that graffiti is actually the symbol of gonzo journalism, um, or me being a douche. I did not realize that was a symbol of gonzo journalism. Um, that's ah, pretty cool. I hadn't even noticed. Do you have much experience with gonzo journalism yourself? Reporting after or during direct participation? If you do end up writing on this experience, whatever you produce would be the very definition of it. You're too close to be objective now, and you're a key subject in this event. It doesn't seem to be your usual style, but you couldn't go another route at this point, and you're in the clear as you didn't instigate the situation. Hmm... I've never had much interest in the practice, but spending so much time around you has taught me to look at events in a different light. Perhaps only because I can verify your personal experiences as fact. We've been hanging out for like a day Sorry, or Sorry, I'm rambling again, aren't I? And we're on a schedule. I don't even want to think about this. What if we don't find Hayden? What if we do? Oh, poor little blue cherry. My memory processors are shot from the stress of the past day. It's already taken a toll on me. But never mind. Interesting. I mean, that's, that, that's working in a very sort of human or biological concept, right? Into what is meant to be a mechanistic individual. The idea that if you are stressed, your, your memory units um, will be shot because of it. And that's... That runs counter to the sort of fixed view that we've been given. But that's the thing. This is, this is where these uh, depictions of AIs can be fuzzy, where they're saying, you know, where the writers posit that it's this incredibly logical fixed entity with the same rules as the machines that we are familiar with. Um, but then on top of that, they layer these uh, human-like elements and then when they intersect, you either get something interesting or something blatantly contradictory. And, I mean, that's, that's an example. That's a prime Let's example, Let's find that I access think. node. Let's find Hayden. <coughs> Papa woo. All right. Uh, well, we talked a lot about street art. Um, touch it. This wall is pretty grimy. Stop touching it. Uh, no. Keep those dirty hands away from it. You didn't bring any hand sanitizer. I did not. Um, milk? Could you not deface the graffiti, please? I mean, I know that's ironic, but still. Uh, trippy doesn't even begin to describe what you're hearing right now. Yeah, the, the level to which these headphones um, read and interpret their environment is, is beyond the pale. It's actually preposterous. But, you know, sci-fi stuff. Um, Alright, so... Oh, apartment door. This is the I door to notice. an apartment building. It's not the access node. Uh-huh. Can we go? I'm really nervous, and I want to find out what happened to Hayden. Yeah, I know. I'm just very thorough. Um... Don't. The access node is next door to this building. That's the wrong place. 
Then why give me all this dialogue and... Don't wake the Nabots! <laughs> okay, that's Did I say dumb. Nabots? I meant neighbors. No, don't keep explaining. Sorry, I'm really tired. Besides, this is the wrong door. Yeah, it's that flustered error thing that... Yeah. I don't, I don't love it in the writing. The writing's been pretty clean in most aspects around the AI concept. It's, it's set something out and it's uh, held to it. And this stuff just absolutely messes with it. But, I mean, it is something that has feelings, right? So, I mean, you've already got a mess there in terms of... Well, I guess it's, 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 yeah, it's fuzzy ground, conceptually, anyway, no matter what you do. Anyway, um, I will not get bogged down. And I must check chat, because I haven't been looking at chat. Um, Crafty Davy is pointing out that um, you guys just love spoiled milk, but you do appreciate my thoroughness, which is great. Um, <laughs> place of old, bringing back the milk. Uh, says, uh, I predict Turing will self-destruct by the end of the game. That's so dark. Very dark. This is the door to the access node that Tomcat told us about. We need to use the buzzer to get inside. There's a buzzer? Really? Okay, is it just part of the talk to the, the door? The guard isn't actually here. You need to press the buzzer on the door to get access. Parallax lock, AN-19 security. Hello? Yes, can I help you? Um... Does this... Oh, so... Oh, I don't know if that means go to the next lot of statements or literally say nothing. I think Friends of Jess is the correct option here because Jess did say she would sort of radio ahead and make sure it's cool. Um... I was wondering when you'd get there. You're at the access node on Cesar Chavez in Indiana, right? I'm gonna say yes. That's right. Okay, that's Good. yes. Be quick. Don't touch anything. Got it? This conversation never happened. And you're on your own if you get caught out there. I hope you find what you're looking for. So... This is it. Let's go inside and I'll call Tomcat. So what the fuck was the milk this about? This place doesn't look like it's had any maintenance in years. I hope the systems are still functional. Well, I presume I'll have to do the milk on the way out or something? Oh, I forgot you can't see in darkness. Maybe no, I don't have dark vision. Switch over there, adjust the lighting. Should have rolled a different race. This human is so boring. Uh, look at light switch. Looks like the light switch for the room. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tell me more. It's currently toggled to off. I see. This light switch brings a little brightness into the world and sometimes takes it away. It's so poignant. Okay. Um, let's do it. Hey! Oh, Tomcat is pinging us. Forwarding video and audio. Howdy! Y'all at the access node? Apparently. I'm set to slice in once Turn makes physical access. Of course, Tomcat. Just walk me through how to connect myself, and I'll give you the necessary system permissions to use me as an interface. Just pat yourself into the Lynx terminal down there, and I should be able to get started. Connecting wirelessly to it... Now! Permissions granted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Please mm -hmm. be careful in there. Don't worry, doll. I'm an old hand at this. You won't notice a thing. Bang. One sec. Oh, shoot. Y'all will have a bit more to do before I can get the info we need. Is it sour this milk related? This running on old cassettes, and the recall slot is empty. Can't call up Hayden's info file without it. Okay. There should be a cassette on the opposite side of the wall we can overwrite with the recall program. Pretty sure all that one was used for was phone monitoring. You know, from back when phone networks were separate from data networks. 
I swear, y'all, I just turned 22. <laughs> Anyways, we need to move that cassette across the room to access the records. Okay. Figure out how to do that and hit me back up when you've done it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, utility arm guide is the first thing I can select. Then there's cassette row, links terminal, cassette row, no checklist, light switch, warning label, uh, utility arm, display screens, hanging wires, cassette. Woo! Okay, utility arm guide. According to this poster, the data cassettes can only be moved by using the links panel to control the utility arm. Okay. Cassette row, let's have a look. Modern versions of cassettes like these are a tenth the size. These aren't the cassettes you need, so don't touch, okay? I'll have another look. Uh, still, even these antiques hold exabytes of information. I don't even know how much that is. These drives have enough storage to hold audio and video recordings of the lives of every person in the mission. And this was before Parallax started distributing ROMs. Hmm. Okay. Um, this must be the cassette Tomcat was talking about, okay? It's pretty high up, and it doesn't look like it's been moved in a long time. Should be safe to overwrite. Yep, all right. Well, I presume I can't grab it by hand. You can't reach it from down here. The arm must be the only way to move it. Gotcha, okay. Nope. Uh, hanging wires. Loose wires, be careful! Okay, so I can't touch them, so I can't just insta end the game. I'm gonna save. Save now. Done. Sick. All right. Oof. One billion gigabytes. Oof. All right. All right. Terabyte, petrobyte, then exabyte. Yeah. See, terabyte I've heard. Um, petrobyte and exabyte. Um, I had not. Or if I had, it was, you know, some time ago. All right. So... Hanging wires, I'm presumably tangled wires, yep, okay. Uh, look at tangled wires. Dirty tangled wires lie on the floor. Where are the standards? They seem like the least efficient way to make any kind of connections. Mm -hmm. The sound design, um, some of it feels sort of Soma-ish. It's giving me that, you know, I, I think it's the constant alarm blaring that, uh, is, is bugging me out. Super spoiled milk, gross. Whoa! What's going on down there? Something shorted the main breaker and everything switched over to the auxiliary. <laughs> Try not to wreck the node before you get what you went down there for. I was fucking around. I didn't. Oh no. Okay. So what? What normally results in jokes about spoiled milk occasionally means you literally use spoiled milk. Um, I hope I didn't just fuck everything up. Holy shit. Alright, no checklist. A list of things to check to make sure that everything is running okay. It basically says that you should make sure that all the screens say okay before leaving the node. Okay, okay. Warning label. Uh, the sign warns that this area contains high voltage, of course. Don't touch any live wires! Okay, alright, alright, I won't. Um, utility arm. A robotic arm used to move data cassettes around the node. How would you like one of those for Is an arm, Turing? there something wrong with my arms? I was certain Hayden installed state-of-the-art prototypes. My well, arms are fine. Your arms are fine. I was just joking. Oh, I see. Humorous. Ho, ho, ho. ba ba -woo. This model is extremely antiquated, though. Yeah, it's vintage. I doubt it has anything approaching the precision of modern servo motor appendages to say nothing of the strength. Of course not, it's vintage. Uh, can't, you can't even reach it, but maybe there's some other way to move the thing. Oh, well, I wonder if. Uh, random graphs and diagnostics being tracked. Yep. Uh, there's no way of knowing what causes them to move. Interesting. All right, links terminal, let's do it. Uh, this terminal should give you access to some of the node systems. The monitor shows a logo for the Lynx data system. All right. 
let's use it. Logging onto Link Server, uh, Z77 Gamma. Mm. Welcome to Links. Access security records, review maintenance log, operate. Well, let's check this. Authentication needed. Okay, never mind. Please use biometric reader to log in. Uh, abstain from using the biometric reader. Okay. Yeah, so I figure if I do use the biometric reader, I'll probably trigger the alarm and then fuck this whole thing up, right? Like, this seems a failable exercise, perhaps? So... Um, retract arm. Turn arm. Move arm left. Turn arm. Turn arm. Uh, extend arm. There we go. Track arm, yeah! Turn arm. Uh, move arm right. Widdly, widdly, weep. Stand arm. Nice hey! Job. I'm gonna put some more pressure on them to move the data now, and we'll see if we can't slurp it right out of this network trunk. Uh, that is some interesting terminology. I thought that someone would have noticed and decommissioned this access node when the neighborhood went to hell, but. This it's mouse a trap. is happy to play while the cat is away. It's a trap. Uh, why is this place usable for us anyway? Why would they move the data? Let us know when you're done. Why is this place? Way back when I was a youngin', when I first hacked into Parallax's network, I mostly did it to make a point, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They were just about to launch the MeshNet system, and I wanted to show the whole darned world that their security had more holes in it than Swiss cheese. I knew she was gonna say Swiss cheese? That saddens me. Of course, I wasn't too shy about poking in a few more holes of my own devising while I was there. Mm -hmm. After putting in some more tricky software backdoors, I went ahead and deleted this access node off the maintenance schedule. Oh. Then I reassigned the guy who was supposed to keep an eye on it to a different location. They were in the process of buying up a whole gaggle of these nodes in preparation to set up a private network for themselves. That's I'll really cool. I'll just for the MeshNet launch. Maybe a little too confident of them. Most of the software holes have been patched out as they've upgraded their network, but this old place is just as forgotten as I left it. That's great. I've been targeting one of their data centers with a botnet-driven DDoS attack, hitting every port into its network that I can find. Nice. Ain't likely to do much, but... Toss in a few attempts to crack the firewall, and their VIs are shitting bricks. <laughs> it's standard procedure for them to move their sensitive data to a different data center in case the attacker actually gets in. Make enough noise, and it'll scare them enough into taking some defensive action, which is where we want them. The files are more vulnerable in transit. That's awesome. Now you'll just hold tight. I'll be done with this lickety split. Hmm. Surveillance camera footage. Oh no. Oh god. Busted? Oh, turn. oh surveillance camera footage of um of Hayden. I'm so sorry. What is it, Tomcat? What is did he, you find? Is he dead? He's... He's gone, Turin. Of course he's gone, Tomcat. That's why we're here. Shit. I, I mean... He's gone. Gone, Turin. Hayden... It, Hayden is dead. Wow. That obviously isn't right, Tomcat. Why would they kill him? Can you send me the relevant files? You must have missed something. I, I don't think you should see it, but if you're sure. Parallax, they had security cam footage from the hallway outside Hayden's apartment encrypted on their network. 
Just a short clip. It looks like Hayden started to struggle with a couple of big dudes when they broke through the door and one of them shot him. Wow. I also found some chatter about it on some darknet channels. It wasn't a kidnapping. Somebody went there to murder him. I'm so damn sorry. Jeez. Thank you for your assistance in this matter, Tomcat. I think I'll walk back to the apartment. I need some time to run some calculations about this new scenario. If you'll excuse me. Wow. Should you follow them? Um, I need some time. I'd need some time to myself too. Turing will be okay. I'll catch up later. I have no option to follow them. So, um... I'm gonna go with the time to myself thing. If you say so. Yeah, I'm gonna keep digging through this data until they kick me out of the system. I'll try to find some kind of lead on why this whole thing started in the first place. Maybe I can find something out about who killed Hayden and why Parallax has a copy of the footage. Hmm. It ain't much of a silver lining, but we have the answer on Hayden's fate. Maybe it's time to call it quits. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Wow. This game, yep. Yeah. So now that's that's the end of this chapter. I don't even know what the milk would have done. Maybe we'll go back to that note. Oh, chapter three. Whew. Oh, you're back. Oh, how are you doing? How are you doing, buddy? You know, Hayden was a brilliant programmer far ahead of his time. I am a machine, and intrinsically, I do not have all the glands and visceral chemical reactions that make humans so emotional and brilliant. But his code is a flawless replication of that inside my own personality algorithms. Okay, so that's, that's the explanation as to why um, there can be um, emotion is that Hayden has modelled in code, supposedly flawlessly, although um, we're being told it's flawless from the perspective of somebody who doesn't have our physical experience, right? Um, so they... So their experience of it is what they assume is a complete simulacrum, or what they have been told is a complete simulacrum of it. Um, I don't think I've ever felt this... this anger! It fouls my processors and fills my RAM with frustrating, half-finished plans of revenge. Yeah, they're going, they're going ham on um, the human psychological angle here. My motherboard burns in my casing from how <sighs> little I can rest. Okay, please stop referencing the computer parts. I'm in pain and I can't make it go away. <laughs> <sighs> I do not like the thoughts I'm having about the people who did this to him. Can you turn them off? I, I could. I can disable those modules. But if I turn off every emotion I don't want to feel, what does that make me? Would I still be me? I mean, that's the, you know, that's one of those larger questions you could tackle. And maybe that's one of the um, sort of sub-questions of this text. Um, you know, if you could switch 
on and off parts of yourself like emotions, um, would you still be yourself? And the answer is, um, I mean, no. If if you if you literally could switch off parts of your brain, um, I mean, you're still you, but like, it's. I guess that's the point. Is is you know you can argue both. Um, yeah. If yeah. I were human, turning off my emotions would be seen as extremely unhealthy. Yeah. I mean that that's it, right? Like it's 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 using the mechanical metaphor here to um, to represent um, you know repression or denial. There is a wealth of information on the meshnet about human psychology. I just don't know how much of it applies to myself. Well, apparently all of it, because you are a perfect simulation of human psychology in this scenario. Either way, Hayden deserves my grief. It is my way of honoring him. It may be the only way I can. I offer it freely. Did you see the jade plant? Oh, the jade plant remembered well, my talking to it. Despite the hardships it has gone through, there is a lesson there. I don't know that I can listen to it right now, but I'll try. Keep helping me. I need you to find the b bastards who killed my progenitor. I need to finish this. I don't know what I'll do afterwards, but I need to see this through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we'll bring them to justice. We'll make them pay. We'll find them and the truth. That's all I can guarantee, and I can't even guarantee that. What does it matter? Will finding the truth bring back Hayden? Will it fix the pain they've left me in? Oh. But Pleasure. I, I guess you're right. Knowing the whys and wherefores will bring closure to this. That's I exactly the word. A measure of closure. Pleasure, closure. Dot exe. We should keep knowledge of Hayden's death between you, Tomcat, and I. Yeah, I was thinking about the police angle, and yeah, because of the conspiracy element there, I was planning on being recalcitrant to a degree. We seek don't know how much we've already discovered. That's a point. We'll talk after you've had some time to rest. I'm being put to bed. You likely need sleep. And I need some time to... You need human sleep. I need some time. Hmm. Okay, yep. And then I'll presumably be woken up. Mm-hmm. Hey, it's the 22nd. Yeah, Christmas is three days away. I trust you slept well. I slept. I'm um, sure. How about you? I'm fine. What's the plan for the day? Hmm. Um, let's go with sure. I had ample time to recharge my internal batteries. You're looking chipper. It is upsetting that Hayden is gone. But life for the rest of us goes on. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's true. We still have a mystery to unravel, and I will waste no further processing time over something I cannot reverse. There is no point. <sighs> now that we are both refreshed, I feel it wouldn't hurt to recap our progress and determine if any changes should be made based on our successes and failures. Let's talk about how things are going so far. Okay, so it's the chapter Since three your recap. journalistic efforts are a big part of why I originally recruited you, we can start there. We can. Your inquiring mind has been a huge boost in our journey thus far. I've really just followed massive as breadcrumbs. Wrong, massive, I massive talk breadcrumbs. To as intently as you, so I must say I'm quite grateful for your skills in that regard. Okay, people person. You're diligent in your day-to-day -day work as well, which further grounds my hope in you. This, this is just a pep Beyond talk. I'm just being told how cool I am. Let's 
let's take a look at how we've performed in other responsibilities. Specifically, our choices in overcoming obstacles. Yeah, okay. So this is the um, recap of here's the choices you made slash didn't make. That's interesting. Our first major hurdle proved challenging, but we made use of our surroundings and found a creative avenue. I just assumed that was the only answer. I am pleased with your utilization of non-violent methods. Eliminating any excessive risk should allow us to move swiftly. Well, they're just typically the more Finally, fun ones. I was quite impressed by your ability to adapt on the fly, as they say, and perform so well when thrust into a sudden situation. Which is to say I um, did the taxi thing Lastly, well. I'd like to discuss how we're getting along with our companions and allies along the way. Yes. It's important. It is important. I've been I was nice. very impressed with your negotiation abilities with those kids. We got our data cache, and they went on their way, and yep. hopefully learned a lesson too. That's incredibly optimistic, but it's true that I was Just nice to them. Is a bit of a harder read, but she did agree to help us out in a big way. It just was as a tricky one. As long as her brash nature doesn't tempt you to lash out, I think things will go smoothly. <laughs> to tempt me to lash out. Yeah, I, the game will always punish me for that one conversational choice that was made in exploration and not in malice. But, I mean, you know, from the game's perspective, that's what I wanted, right? Because that's the thing that I chose. Detective Rivers was good to involve as well, and I can tell you enjoy having a familiar face around. <laughs> Apparently. She could prove to be our greatest aid, as long as we make it worth her time. No funny business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why she gave me Tom a gun. Tom seems to genuinely care for our cause, and I have no trouble with letting their expertise guide us. Yeah, I like them. Out of everyone else, they seem to be easiest to get along with, too. <laughs> and finally, you and I... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I must say, we have worked together better than I ever expected. I hope you feel the same. Yeah, I picked all the nice conversational options for a reason. In our combined ability, and I enjoy your company as well. Please continue showing me around the city as we continue our search. Yeah, we'll keep looking at street art and trees. Just about run out of leads. Mm -hmm. Perhaps Tomcat was able to find something of use in Parallax's network while they were inside. Okay. Seems a good place to start. Uh, I'm sure they did. That seems hopeless. You don't have any ideas yourself. Um, I'm going to say I'm sure they did. I hope so. But I feel a little bad for relying on them as much as we do. This is some massive deja vu. I feel like we've Always had this exchange before. So far for Hayden. They must have been close. Speaking of them, incoming call from Tomcat. Massive cutscene. I've just been Forwarding pressing video X. video and audio. Near constantly. Morning. Karen, how you been doing, hon? I'm fine, Tomcat. Thank you for your concern. Well, okay. Just say the word if I can help out in any way. You hear? Of course. In fact, I was hoping you might have a lead for us to start working at. Otherwise, we're down to canvassing Hayden's address book and seeing if any of his contacts have an idea about who might have had a desire to target him. What's interesting about this game, or one of the many things that's interesting, is I would be used to, in an adventure game, if I was stuck, I'd, then I would be canvassing locations and item hunting. This game won't let me do that at all. And that is freeing in a way, because I know that the game will just lead me where I need to go and we'll go and do stuff. So I can be a little bit out of it and go, eh, the game's got me. It's not going to go terribly wrong, provided I pay attention and don't pick the wrong ridiculous thing to do uh, in the moment. Um, the downside is that I don't feel like I have as much agency, but this, as we discussed last week, does hew closer to the interactive novel um, end of the, um, you know, adventure game pool. But that's just fishing in the dark. Well, I pulled a fair amount of data from the Parallax servers before they managed to kick me out, but it'll take me a while to go through it. A lot of it's unrelated. TPS reports, maintenance logs, juicy meat for other corporations, but about as useful as dirt to us. 
It'll take me a while to decrypt all of Hayden's files, but maybe we'll find something there. We did get the dedication. So, no, I don't have as much as a whiff of a trail on who's behind this. So, I, I recently got a strange request from a friend of a friend. Someone's been messing with the articles of a news organization named Augmented Eye. Hmm. It seems like the network security head there is asking around for cybercrackers to help figure out how their reports are getting changed. Hmm. The original files on their servers are untouched. In their system, everything looks peachy keen. But when you view the site from the outside of the network, things are changed up. A word here, a phrase there, it's subtle, but often has a big impact on the article's tone. Someone with deep access to Parallax's mesh net is changing what's being shown. Hmm. I ain't sure if it's related, but maybe y'all can head down to the main KCOB offices and try talking to the gal that runs Augmented Eye. Her name is Zin. Okay, Zin KCOB. That's gonna be the safe guy. I ain't got the time or the desire to stick my nose that far out for a stranger, but it seems like your kind of deal. <laughs> sure. Mm, it does seem to be a bit of a stretch. But if we have to wait for you to work on the data we've collected anyway... Yeah. Alright. I'll pass the word along that you'll be in sometime today to stick your noses in. Zen Keiko. And I'll send y'all word as soon as I get anything worth hunting down. Mm-hmm. Uh mm-hmm. -huh, uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you, Tomcat. We are grateful for your continued assistance. Papawoo, -ba indeed. No problem, Turn. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Maybe you should take a little more time. No, the happy music's playing. I've been through some shit in the past few days. I said I was fine. Oh, Thank you for your concern, but I am fine. Happy music over. I have already handled the reality of Hayden's death. It's time to move on with the investigation. Turing, would I'm you like sorry, my gun? I didn't mean to step on you. I'm, I'm just worried. Kick some ass. So, uh, I'm here if you need anything. Understood. I apologize for my tone, Tomcat. We'll be in touch. Alright. Later, turn. Okay, we have a lead, however tenuous. Mm -hmm. I've highlighted the Cos IO Corp office building on mm. your map. Cool. Ugh. Cool, cool, cool. Also, while we were talking to Tomcat, I received an email from Dr. Fairlight. Oh, that's another. Uh, Displaying. Person. Okay. Don't get a moment to pause. Ah, greetings. I hope you'll forgive me for a voice-only message, but I'm undergoing my treatments and would not call myself presentable for a video call. Completely legitimate. Still, I wanted to inform you of an idea I had while looking into our mutual acquaintance's disappearance. I haven't had any luck with my contacts inside Parallax, but I was reminded of an old friend by the name of Melody Flores, who may know more about the nature of Hayden's research. Okay. She's the owner of Flower Cybernetics, and Hayden has been known to work closely with them on projects involving the intersection of Parallax's systems and the implants that Flower designs. Huh. Melody and I are no longer on speaking terms, so I'm afraid I can't introduce you. But perhaps the intrigue of Hayden's little robot will get you entry into her home. Hmm. I hope this lead serves you well. Okay, a choice of If you need anything else from me, I will be in and out of the hospital room where we met for the next few days. Okay. I will send word if I have any other insights or discoveries. Yeah, maybe the game is opening up a bit more. Yours, Dr. Yannick Fairline. Interesting. I had no knowledge of Hayden ever working with Flower Cybernetics. But now I'm starting to understand just how little I really knew about his research. Maybe this melody can reveal more about the purposes of my construction. Yeah. 
Aiden must have kept my development secret for a reason. Hopefully we can talk our way in. I have highlighted Melody's home on your map. Yeah, okay, so starting next week we're gonna have to choose between two. Okay, we can now either follow Tomcat's lead to KCOB yep. or Fairlight's lead to Melody's home. Up to you where to go first. Tomcat's led us in the right direction so far, but Fairlight has resources and his tip might end up being more relevant. It depends on what you want our focus to be on in terms of tracking Hayden's trail. Should we follow the media or the tech? Mm. It's fitting. They're the two factors that make Neo SF so unique and wonderful. If we explore them both to the fullest, there's no way we won't be closer to the answer. Wow, so maybe they're both viable, but there's no right one. Interesting. All right, well, we're definitely saving. Saving over this one. Okay. Um, so, uh, K. Oh, nope. That's the wrong button. Let's save again. And let's actually type something in. Uh, K. Cobb. Um. Or Zin. Hmm. Okay. K cab or Z. Um, all right. That'll ha that'll just have to do. That will have to do. K cob or Z. Did you rename it? You did. All right. Lovely. Um, okay. Well, uh, that is obviously our uh, show because um, we're over nine. But. Um, yeah, so um, before I read chat and then go through the process of saying goodbye to you lovely magical people, um, there's one thing that I did think. So this game has actually provided a great example of something that I hadn't quite... I had the pieces, but I hadn't put them together until now. So when Turing was freaking out over Hayden's death and feeling all this this rage and this pain that they didn't know how to process and didn't know what to do with. I got frustrated with the tortured metaphors being used, talking about RAM, talking about motherboards. And it's because when we as people talk about feelings, a lot of the metaphors that we use to discuss it, a lot of, a lot of the language we use um, is very physical. So um, we're talking about um, our chest or our stomach, like we're bringing up physical elements you know, something burning inside us or, or what have you. Like we, we, we reference our physical selves. And part of this is because of the physical nature of emotion of when we have these feelings, um, various parts of our body kick into gear and react in different ways. And Turing doesn't have any of that, but Turing supposedly has the feelings. And this is where you get this, you get this disconnect between um, what, a, what a feeling or an emotion is and what it does or can be conceived of in an abstract sense. And Turing has been given an abstract version of that. And then for narrative reasons, for writing reasons, feels these things in a way that is fitting for Turing's particular body, which is completely mechanized. So it involves RAM, it involves motherboards. Um, and it's such a long and twisted road for me that it's, it just sounds awful. It sounds like terrible writing. It sounds really hokey. Like when you are thrown into a new sci-fi setting, and all of the metaphors and sayings and slang have to reference something in world so it feels cool. Um, but it ends up sounding, I don't know, really hackneyed? I just, I tend not to enjoy that in, in writing. I mean, obviously you've got to do some of it um, and you don't want to fall into the problem of setting up a sci-fi world and then using our terminology to the point where you haven't interrogated it and it just makes the sci-fi world um, sound ridiculous because it no longer, it, it breaks the immersion. But I feel like it breaks the immersion the other way when you have hokey crappy metaphors that are, you know, that are bad. And yeah, it's, it's, if I talk about this in the 
thesis. This is this little moment here is, is great. It's actually a great little nugget because there's gonna be plenty of moments of this representation across different texts, but that scene was really good and had lots of really good lines. And yeah, it's, it's nice to know where I can fit this in the discussion. This is an example of something that is done, I think, in error. And I mean, it's done in error from my very specific academic perspective looking for a particular thing. So I'm not trying to kick this game over or anything like that, but yeah. Yeah, I just, I wanted to, I wanted to voice that um, before I got stuck into talking about other things. Um, and I, I had to hang on to that over acres and acres of dialogue about other stuff. So this is, you know, I hope I remember next week what I need to do, but I think I'm going to leave myself notes that I try and remember, because this save file name is absolutely not going to cut it. All right, so I'm going to scroll through chat a bit and catch up on what you guys have been saying. Woof. Oh, we lost a place of old. Okay, bye, place of old. Who, who's already left, I think? Um, no? No, I misread something. Never mind. Do we still have a place of old? We might. We do, I think. Anyway, um, where was I? <laughs> okay, you guys have typed a lot. I'm just going to read the most recent screen. If you guys wanted to say anything to me before we go, um, just tag me in it, type it out now. Saz asking what was wrong with Fairlight again. I actually can't remember um, the specifics of his disability. Um, the place of old is right in that he seems evil. He was pitched as a sort of centrist uh, in the sense that he is still a plutocrat, um, but he was against Parallax being a sort of evil mega corporation. Yeah, a lot of people throwing stuff around about um, Turing uh, being evil or, or, you know, other weird, interesting stuff. But I'm with Crafty Devious that I think Turing is who he says he is, and it's too interesting for him to be sincere. At, yeah, him being sincere in a lie as well, I think is one of the cruxes of this. So the stranger in a strange land trope, you know, this is, Turing is, is part of that in a way, in that he is, he's knowledgeable about the world in an abstract sense because he pulls all this data but he lacks a lot of the on the ground experience they're not leaning into that too much because i end up doing a lot of the actual interacting with people but that's why turing isn't doing it supposedly um and also you know um roms aren't treated as people um so turing would just get less leeway um but yeah i think i think the purity of turing is such a core part to this that if turing ended up being evil or having like an evil side built in um I, I i would feel let down they would have to do it so carefully and so specifically with the writing i can't imagine it working doesn't mean it wouldn't but yeah i think i think turing's going to be the nice the nice spot the whole way through place of old saying I rock. You rock. We all rock. We're, we're rock people. We rock and it's good. Um, maybe Turing doesn't know he's evil. Yeah. I just, I, I, I think, I think Turing's going to be the nice person. I mean, this is, there is something unmistakably twee about this whole game and its narrative and its characters because it's so focused on um, good representation and it's focused on people be largely being nice to each other like Majid. Like we just keep meeting people who uh, this is very different to stuff like Neuromancer where people are just shitty to each other all the time. Like they're taking some of the tropes but not others from um, from Cyberpunk, right? It's, it's updated. They're focusing on the things they care about like Otaku um, and, and Hassi. Like they, they've got really novel things to fill out their world and it still feels like a full world it's actually a well realized world they've really put the thought in um but it is it is really twee and i have to say hayden's death is shocking to me i did not expect that at all at all also all the puzzles have been so so bloodless and and um yeah and twee right so yeah i i genuinely wonder if hayden is actually dead but that emotional sucker punch really did get me because it's been so bouncy and happy and quaint. And I, I just don't buy that they're gonna, they're gonna pull an evil switch, you know? 
They're gonna, there's going to be an evil corporate dick bag. Um, but yeah, the most evil thing they've had so far is the alt-right. Uh, <laughs> alt-right variant um, of, you know, techno um, hatred. And Crafty, oh, sorry, uh, Saz um, saying that they're igneous. Um, yeah. If you identify as igneous, that's dandy. Igneous rock is pretty cool. Um, well, that Weenie's saying the swearing is kind of jarring when it happens. Interesting. I really like it, but I, when I've seen stuff like this that's twee, it's got enough of that counterculture element to it that these are people who also like to swear. Like, for me, this, this text feels like it could have come from some people I know in terms of dovetailing with their interests, you know? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to call it. Um, I am actually quite tired. Like, it hit about the 8.30 mark, and I was like, oh, I might, I might, you know, I might just jump out and call it early when possible. And then we just kept falling into these spaces where I had to keep pushing on. I'm not even going to go back and pour milk onto that generator. We've just got milk now. That milk might have only been for that Jenny, and I don't care, because I'm not going to reload that save just in case I get stuck in another... Like, the, in this game, you can't skip out of dialogue trees. You're just, you're stuck in them. I don't actually like that because it makes it really hard for me to jump around in the way that I want to. So yeah, we're just going to make our choices and live with it a lot of the time, I think, which means more careful choices. It means trying less often to make spoiled milk and gun jokes in various spots. Um, I'm just going to have to try and read the room. But yes, it's been, a, it's been a great play session. Once again, thank you all so much for, for coming out, which is to say, um, logging in, logging on, um, dot com. Uh, well done. Well done you. Uh, yeah, we'll be back next week. Happy Easter, I guess, or chocolate. Happy chocolate. Um, I hope um, some of you got some modicum of rest, because um, it's good. I hear rest is good. Um, some magical day, I'll return into its arms. Um, thanks, guys. As always, I'll see you next week.